hello everyone my name is amit but welcome to my channel i am extremely glad to see you again in my channel i if you do not subscribe my channel please hit the subscribe button and please do not forget to hit the bell button so that you can get notified my latest videos and welcome to the python video series and this is my fourth video regarding this uh, python video series and in this uh, in previous video we are explaining to you to configure the vlans using the python script and in this video i am explaining you to use a loop for loop uh, uh, in script to configure an 100 of vlans in a second and in this video i will explain you to configure uh, 2 to 10 vlans using for loop that speaking so here is the topology which is connected to my python uh, server to connect it to my switch and first of all i open the switch and check the vlan configuration show vlan brief here you see vlan 3 and 4 is configured as per our previous video using the script to configure the HR and sales VLAN and now we have to delete these VLANs and start to open the script sudo nano s1 script here are at the uh, below here are the VLAN we added this script and remove the three lines in script vlan database vlan 3 vlan 4 uh, these three lines we remove here and we can write the loop create a loop for n in range 2 vlan 2 to 10 that is the number n ranges from 2 to 10 and colon and then enter here the space is mandatory because uh, it is under the loop so tn dot write parenthesis open VLAN uh, space plus CR and N is the number string and plus then here colon and uh, here backslash and that's the new line enter parenthesis close and enter here is the and name and name of the VLAN is P uh, underscore VLAN underscore comma plus then strength the name of that VLAN based on the N which the loop starts and space plus backslash N that is the new line that means new line and parenthesis closed that's it so this is uh, it starts from 2 and up to 9 between 10 uh, but less than 10 and uh, the range starts from that so here at the blow we end here after that loop completes it will come down and end the script then exit the telnet then it read all the things done in the script so it will first tell, uh, access the search telnet host 130 and then start below the script uses let me show you in the search the configuration we have removed this vlan 3 which is earlier script we can create it vlan 4 
to show VLAN here you see there is no VLAN configured in this search so let's to start the execute this script control O that will write our script and X will exit script the Python S1 S script dot py it enter the telnet username Amit password Cisco it will as usually come fast but it will take time something has happened in my script there is some error so let me wait for a while so that it will tell me the error here I caught the error but why is the error I just uh, here is the error we cannot I will show you in script where is the error so sudo sudo no no s1 here it go not go, uh, do not go to configuration mode so that's the problem so here I will write tn dot write parenthesis open and here I config t then it go to global configuration mode and execute this loop start n backslash n and and parenthesis closed so control o write out and control x exit so let's execute the script again here enter your telnet username Amit password Cisco here you see the script executed and VLAN is configured in search let's configure on search do show VLAN here you see pvlan2 pvlan3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is the loop can done the configure the VLANs in a second of in a microsecond so here you see I will here if I want to add in VLAN 10 as well so we have to do 2 to 11 so less than 11 is 10 and execute the script again omit and password Cisco Here is some issue again. I have again I execute the script because I do not write a correct password in it. Enter Python S1 script dot py. Enter. Here you see VLAN 10 is also add in the script. Let's configure on search. Verify on search. Here you see P VLAN 10 is also configured in search. So in this video you are able to learn about to configure an VLAN configuration of using loop and I hope this video is informative for you. I like to thank you for watching.